Yo, what's good guys? So yesterday was the day that I went and filmed Sean Sweat at his Primo track, the day that it was absolute chocolate cake. And at the end of the video, I said, if it doesn't rain tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go out to the track. But guess what? I woke up this morning and it was absolutely downpouring. As you can see on the ground, it is still wet. Flip the camera down here. The ground is soaked, but the sun is out. Clouds are a little scattered. It's not looking too good over here, but there'll be some, you know, little patches of blue and the rain's not going right now, so I'm dedicated. You know I'm on the grind right now, so I'm gonna go ride some dirt bikes. Let me just start off by saying, if you run out of gloves to change your air filter, it is the worst, like absolutely the worst. My hands, I don't know how many times I've washed them and they are still sticky. I've used degreaser, soap, everything. It won't come off. I searched my pantry, found saran wrap, wrap my hands in freaking saran wrap, like plastic wrap, and it's still, you know, the air filter leaked through. It's better than nothing, but trying to be innovative here. Anyways, I'm trying to get some rides in because tomorrow I leave for Puerto Rico. My best friend that I made while I was abroad in Spain, her name is Dani, she's from Puerto Rico. As you can see, I bought a plane ticket to fly out to Puerto Rico tomorrow to see Dani and to do some surfing. And of course, I'm gonna check to see if there's some motocross tracks. So, I went on Google today, Searched up Facebook, went on to my Facebook and basically searched motocross tracks Puerto Rico. I found Puerto Rico Motocross Association and basically sent them a little message. So I said, Tienes una pista en PR, which means, do you have a track in Puerto Rico? Soy de Carolina del Norte y mañana estaría visitando PR. I'm from North Carolina and tomorrow I will be visiting Puerto Rico. Quiero montar en necesito un pista. I want to ride and need a track. Y también yo edito videos de YouTube. Voy a editar un video para usted si puedo montar allí. Which means, and also I edit YouTube videos. I will edit you guys a YouTube video if you let me come ride there. And then said, este es mi canal, muchas gracias. Which means, this is my channel, thank you so much. So, I'm pumped. Mañana, tomorrow, voy a Puerto Rico. I'm going to Puerto Rico. What I'm hoping is that I can find a track when I'm out there, roll up to the track, just happen to see someone who watches my YouTube videos. So let's load up and get to the track. Hey bro, here's the freaking saran wrap that I just wrapped around my hands trying to avoid all that grunge and grease from, from the air filter. Look at that, dude. It's literally a piece of plastic that I just surrounded my hand with. Yeah, forget those, bro. <laughs> nice and clean, fresh out of the wash. It's always the best. We are en route to Sean's house right now. He's not riding today because he said he's gonna do some filming of me and he just wants to save it for the weekend. So he's gonna do some shredding while I'm in Puerto Rico. But yeah, I'm pumped, so I'll have someone to film me today. But I can't even believe I'm riding today, honestly. Like yesterday I was set on riding because it wasn't supposed to rain until later in the day. And then I woke up to literally a torrential downpour. But we're in North Carolina, so the weather switches like that. And as you can see, we have blue skies, a little bit of clouds. You know, it might rain a little later, but at least we have a little break right now so we can go put in some motos. Oh yeah, we have arrived. That's it. You can see the old Yamaha 4 Fatty lurking in the back of the garage. Yeah. <laughs> My 
My dude's got the popcorn on deck, bro. Hey, that's the only way. Rolling deep. Rolling deep. All right, thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Yeah, you can set there. All right, so we made it. Sean's about to open up this gate. It was pouring, and I was like, Sean, is your track not going to be a mud fest? And he was like, nah, bro. She can take so much water. So I think we'll be straight. Pull into here. Hey, bro, definitely muddier than expected. For sure. <laughs> I think it rained all night, dude. That's why. Did it really? Yeah, bro. I'm pretty sure. You got some rain here, bro. <laughs> well, I guess it rained a ton more than we're well aware of, but there might be maybe... A Maybe a couple sections we can make it happen. I don't know. I'm willing to give it a shot. Um, but the track is not completely rideable. If you check out right here, we got a straight, straight swamp. Straight swamp with booter. Yeah, right before the booter. Imagine just getting caught up in that little slip and then you're up. <laughs> hey, it just helps the whip, dude. It helps throw out the back end, drop the nose a little bit. Oh, bro, I bet if you gave it like a couple days on this, a day or two, it'd be prime. But, a little muddy, dude. All right, so we're making the making the call. She's not worth it. It's soupy today. We thought it would hold the water better, but it didn't. It's only a 20-minute drive out here, so it's whatever. Um, and I got my mom's birthday tonight. If I rode today, the bike would get absolutely trashed, boots would be gnarly, and then I'd go to Puerto Rico tomorrow morning. I wouldn't have time to clean it because my mom's birthday tonight. Um, so I'd come back in seven days and my bike would be permanently ruined as all this red clay would just sit on it, aging and destroying it. But we'll show you guys the track a little bit. tried it's just not worth it today and you know i'm gonna get on it when i get back from puerto rico or maybe in puerto rico i'm gonna try and do some riding so not trying to you said you got some thorn bushes over in the back right yeah um not about to slip on the face and send it straight into straight into a a wood of how do you even define that straight into a bushel of of thorns yeah, so all right is it a bushel it's a bushel <laughs> <laughs> hey so that's it we're calling it a day Dang, bro. Oh. I need to get out of here. It is absolutely pouring. But hey, guys, looks like we made the right decision of not riding because I would be out there right now just getting soaked. But dude, that absolutely sucks. Like I loaded everything up and was so ready to shred some dirt bikes. I did try, you guys can see my heart was there. The motivation and grind was there, but sometimes it doesn't line up. No worries guys, we always got more days. Um, I'm not worried about it. So we're gonna go back and unload everything. Hopefully I won't get torrentially downpoured, but we made the right call homies and the dream continues and I'm staying on that grind. So I'll see you guys next time.